everybody. How's everyone doing? So this is a new installment on my channel. I'm going to call this uh, Chronicles of Carl, I think. Hmm. Should have probably thought about how that acronym might go beforehand, but oh well, we're going with it. So this is going to be a really simple little video series, really informal. It's going to be kind of a vlog style, kind of a shop update style, and you know, just a way that I can interact with you guys a little bit more easily, a little bit more informally, and you know, just give you an update on what I'm working on. I'm normally working on two or three things at the same time, and you guys get to see maybe every fourth one of them, so I thought this might be fun for some of you. But first, there's something really important that I want to say. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> so it's so cool to me, guys. I've only been doing YouTube for probably, I don't know, four or five months now, so to already have hit 1,000 subscribers is so crazy to me, and it's not just that, it's... I mean, you guys are great. Like, the comments that I receive, the, the, the helpful advice that I receive, it's just really, really awesome. I've got a couple subscribers in particular who are, like, steadfast there every video, and I really look forward to hearing from you guys every time. I mean, it's just, it's really awesome to have this outlet into this community to, you know, as a beginner myself, to be able to share what I'm doing with the world and to be able to share what, you know, what I'm learning with everyone. It's... Take you guys along the trip of me learning. It's just so cool. I really appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Anyway, let's get into the update video. Enough of me blabbing. So, right here before me, you'll see uh, I've got some uh, dead animals. I've got some, uh, a guitar I'm making. I got some uh, scrap steel with apparently an old knife template on it. This is pretty much what the internal mechanisms of my brain look like. So let's start with the guitar. This is my latest obsession. It's an Engelman spruce top with a babinga back and sides and I'm adding rosewood accents here on the back. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be putting the binding, which is this little strip here, around the edge of the guitar. But this guitar has come out really awesome. It's really, really pretty already. The neck and I just dented it. I can't believe I dented that. God. So here's another look at that Babinga. And you can see already, even in this light, it's got some really awesome figure. But watch this. This is a slightly damp rag. This is what it looks like with some water on it. Look at that, guys. If that is a gorgeous on the with this, man, that's really, really cool to me. You don't want to wet the wood too much um, because it raises the grain, but I mean, I'll still have to do a bunch of sanding on this one anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Some people say it affects the tone if you wet the wood too much while you're building the guitar. I don't know about that, but this is the other half of the guitar. We're doing a Coca Bolo fretboard and a figure maple neck. Kind of hard to see in this light. But I'll wet that fretboard real quick so you can get a look at that as well. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I am really, really excited about how this build is starting out. It's, um, you know, I don't post a lot about my Luthieri stuff here on my YouTube, just because it takes a really long time to make a guitar. Like, I'm probably already, you know, I do this in addition to other things, but I'm probably already a month into this build, so. You know, it's a lot easier to make smaller night videos that take probably two or three days to make rather than, you know, very complex guitar build. But I love making guitars, and if you follow me on Instagram, I post about it a lot. If you guys want to see more about my guitar build, take a look at my Instagram, ae underscore grit underscore schmidt. I'll put it somewhere right, right here, probably. I post updates on it occasionally over there, you know, just quick little pictures, little snippets. When it's done, I'll probably post a video or two of me playing it, but until then, it'll just be little updates like update videos like this that you get to see it. So over here we have the other half of my dichotomy of insanity, and I've got a bunch of dead ends. So I got a bunch of uh, jaw bones, and one thing about doing is turning one of these, I'm not probably not this bore, but one of these into some type of handle for a knife. Um, I've been playing a lot of Far Cry Primal, if that means anything to you guys. <laughs> but, I've got a uh, boar jaw, I've got a moose jaw, which is really cool by the way. 
Dan, I've got a whole moose antler that I may do something with as well. I don't know, I'm still figuring it out. As you can see, I'm kind of short on steel. This is the last of uh, my 1095. This is still from that billet, um, you know, the 12 by 12 inch billet that I bought for 50 bucks that I bought like three months ago. I can't believe that. But yeah, guys, that's the update video. So nothing too fancy. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what's coming down the pipe. And more importantly than that, I really just wanted to say thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You know, thank you for being a part of this. This is really fun to me. It's really cool to be able to share my craft with you guys. And hopefully somebody's learned something from uh, what I'm doing, but I'm learning as we go as well. So it's really fun. It's really fun to share that process with you guys. Yeah, you know, a little teaser into the next knife video. We'll probably be using this 1095 steel and probably one of these bones, but I'm gonna figure that out over the next couple days, most likely. Oh, I almost forgot. I broke these electrical snips the other day at work. See, they, they like really just don't want to move anymore. And they're pretty high carbon steel, so I was thinking about forging out a knife from one of these. That will be really hard and I'll have to buy some propane, but let me know if you guys want to see that. I think that'd be a fun little project. I think, I'm pretty sure I can do it. I'm pretty sure that, see, the steel comes all the way down here and up into here. I bet I could disarticulate it from the handle here and draw it out into a knife. I could even forge weld the two, two halves together, get something cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. I'm thinking maybe like a survival type knife or like a hunting knife or... I've also had the idea of doing an EDC knife for a little while now. Uh, I've made several little EDC knife designs, but I've never posted them and I normally end up just giving them away really quickly. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. Until next time, thank you guys so much. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll have a new build video coming out very soon. And again, thank you so much for all the support, all the kind words, and it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you guys around. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.